Hey y'all, this is Anna Alexander. Welcome to my bedroom as I'm about to embark on a new to me show in my new to me space and I'm so excited. You saw it in the thumbnail. This is Ted Lasso season one, episode one and I'm warning you right now, I'm going to say Laszlo. I see the letters, but in my head, I always hear in my ears, Laszlo, and I know that's wrong, so don't come at me, but it's gonna happen. I'm gonna slip up, but I know the bare minimum about the show. Jason Sudeikis goes to Britain, becomes a football coach. The delightful Hannah Waddingham is in it. <laughs> and there's a guy, I believe I've been told, who was in a series that I saw about some superheroes that had some kind of oddball powers. He was the character that could see two seconds in the future. Yeah, that's all I know. I have heard the show is excellent. I've been wanting to watch it forever. I just haven't had Apple TV, but now I'm ready to embark on new platforms and I'm really excited that you are all here with me on this journey. And so because it is a first of a first, I'm going to give my disclaimer because some of you may be new. So if you're new, hi, welcome to my channel. This is when I remind everybody that everything I say going forward is only my opinion. It is based on my past experiences, research, observation. You and I will see things differently because you and I have different lives. And I also need to start reminding people, a lot of the times I'm not reacting to what I'm seeing on the screen in front of me now. In my head, I will go back to when the writers were in the, in the writing room, coming up with idea, pitching them. That whole process delights me. So sometimes like the crazier or the more violent or the more tragic something is, I will laugh because I find that process of creating those tragic moments just delightful. And so I'm glad to share this experience with all of you. So we are going to, what are we gonna do? We are going to get comfy, cozy. I am drinking today, a, also new to me, a cherry lime Italian soda. Don't know how I feel about it. Let me know what you're drinking. Also, please remember that full episode watch along will be available on Patreon, where I would also love to see you. So if you're ready, I'm ready, and let's get to it. It's rollicking already. Uh, no, no, no. Hannah! Oh. Oh. <laughs> Is she moving or being evicted or? Rupert and I bought this on our fifth anniversary. What do they call this? Redundant. Is she being made redundant? Hmm. Do you want it? It's a hockney. It must be worth a million pounds. <laughs> Good point. You should have said yes. <laughs> auction pile, please. Oh, auction pile. Oh, oh. So, um. I love what you've done to the place. Did you do it yourself or get some puff to help you? I could ask the same of your hair, please. <laughs> wow. Right, love, listen, I've got training in a minute, so whatever it is, you need to get off your impressive chest. Wow, so much characterization in a few seconds. Wow. You're fired, and I'll be buying out the remainder of your contract, so wish you the best of luck. Fired? <laughs> what the fuck for? Your casual misogyny, for one. What? I know, it's a big word. Ask one of your daughters what it means. <gasps> or maybe it's because you insist on wearing those tiny shorts that force me to see one of your testicles. Ah, I free ball in it. Liam and Noel, though perhaps not an oasis. She named them. Or did somebody else name them? What do you think's worse? Your husband cheating on you? Or being the last to know? I have a feeling she knew. AFC Richmond announced the hiring of their new manager, one Theodore Ted Lasso. He was Coach Lasso leading the Division II Wichita State Shockers to their first ever national title. Wichita State Shockers. For a lot of us, that's not how Ted Lasso found his way into our hearts, certainly not into our living rooms. For me, it'll always be Ted. <laughs> Celebrating a moment of joy with his team in a way that you really have to see to understand, and then even when you see it, I don't necessarily know that understanding is, is what we're doing. What is it about Jason Sadisic just doing the running man that is always a delight? 
Oi, mate, there's you. <laughs> you coaching football, mate. You are a legend for doing something so stupid. They're going to fucking murder you? Well, you know, I've heard that tune before, but here I am still dancing. Legend. Yeah. Legend. Would you read another soccer book? Coach, you are a sponge. Well, he got to bring people with him. Well, that's good. They don't say out of bounds. They say into touch. Okay, you owe me five bucks if I sneak that into a sentence later. You're on. Are we nuts for doing this? Yeah, this is nuts. Hey, but taking all the challenges is a lot like riding a horse, isn't it? If you're comfortable while you're doing it, you're probably doing it wrong. So, of course, instant question becomes if that's his wife and child, why aren't they on the plane with him? Or will they be joining him later? They better be joining him later. You didn't sleep at all? Not a wink. Next thing you know, they're handing out warm chocolate chip cookies in the plane's land. I didn't get cookies. Did you eat mine? That's not part of the story. I think this is <laughs> I love the touch, the detail with his hair being all askew. Okay, that's Tower Bridge. Right, not the London Bridge, because this one's still up. No, London Bridge is down the street. You know how they came up with soccer? So these Victorian era headmasters, all they wanted to do was get the boys to stop masturbating. So mm. they invented a sport where the boys wouldn't use their hands at all. So you would think they would invent a sport that only used hands so then their arms got tired and they couldn't be able to use them for a bit. Get off! Get off the pitch! God, you're the new manager. Yes, sir. I didn't look to take all the grass you want. Oh, no. To call it. <laughs> hey, what's your name, by the way? Me? Yeah. No one ever asked my name. Why? Well, I mean, whenever you're ready. Oh, uh, it's Nathan. Nathan! Oh, I love that name. Hey, love your hot dogs. <laughs> does, does he you know what a Nathan's hot dog is? No. <laughs> what does Nathan do for the team? Hey, how y'all doing? You must be Miss Welton. No, oh, please. Call me Rebecca. Miss Welton's my father. If that's a joke, I'd love it. If not, I cannot wait to unpack that with you. This is Higgins, our current director of communications. Current. Current. Oh. Can I get you something to drink? Yes, please. Didn't get much sleep on the plane, so anything you got a little boosted caffeine should do the trick. I think she's he's gonna get she's she's gonna get him a whiskey. Good. How do you take your tea? Oh, tea. Well, usually I take it right back to the counter because someone's made a horrible mistake. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You could put whiskey in your tea. I have whiskey flavored tea. You know, I always figured that tea was just going to taste like hot brown water. And you know what? I was right. This hall represents the club's long, albeit modest, history. The first match was played in 1897. Ooh. Do you believe in ghosts, Ted? Mm, I do. But more importantly, I think they need to believe in themselves. This is a wall of our previous owners. Look at this fellow up here. <laughs> I was the girl in the... That's that my ex-husband. Ex mm. Well, good times aren't always a good time. So, we'll need you to speak to the press. Oh, yeah. No, after a couple nights of good sleep, I'll be happy to do that. Oh, I think they're outside the door. I, th I thought you knew. They're ready for you now. Mm -hmm. uh, so wow. Well, how are you going to expect them to make a good impression for your team if you didn't give them a heads up? <laughs> hey! If I don't hear silence, I'm going to start punching dick. <laughs> Why don't we just jump right in? Anybody got any questions? Mm-hmm. Real quick, um... <laughs> no, I have never coached the sport that you folks call football. At any level. Okay. Um, so he was chosen because... He's going to go out there and give you everything they got for all four quarters. Uh... <laughs> two halves. Oh, right. Sorry. Halves. Yeah. They're going to give you everything they got for two halves. He didn't do a, a little quickie quickie Wikipedia. And my door is always going to be open. All right. You can ask me anything. No topic will be in to touch. You're an American who's never set foot in England, whose athletic success has only come at the amateur level. 
and has now been charged with the leadership of a Premier League football club. Oh, that Premier League. Ooh. You got a question in there, Trent? <laughs> Is this a fucking joke? <laughs> I actually don't know the answer to that. Oh, Ted, just go. Thank you. Thank you for your time. Just cut and run. Cut and run. Coach Lasso. Is she trying to submarine the team? And like... But I can't remember the last time the press room was this full. Yet here you all are. There is not a single person in this room who has seen Richmond play more than I have. And in all those years, under the stewardship of the previous owner, I've witnessed nothing but profound mediocrity. Now, Coach Lasso may not have a CV that you all find acceptable, but he does have one thing this club doesn't. A trophy from this millennium. Richmond are changing the way we do things. And from now on, that way is the Lasso way. We look forward to seeing you all at our next match with Crystal Palace. Thank you so much. I got thoughts. I got thoughts. Yeah, nice meeting y'all. And uh, sorry for spitting on all your stuff up here. <laughs> you know, I'd love to say hi to the team if I can. Can't keep a gaffer from his pitch. <laughs> you can say that again. <laughs> Coach Lasso is just what we need. Oh, he's an absolute wanker. I know. I hope he fails miserably. She's submarining him. See, my ex-husband truly loved only one thing his entire life, this club. And Ted Lasso is gonna help me burn it to the ground. I want him to feel like he's been fucked in the arse with a splintered cricket bat, just in and out, over and over. And lubed. Eyes on the man you're marking, come on! Ooh. Roy Kent, team captain. Team captain, i.e. de facto coach. You know, he's a legend. Won a is Champions he? League with Chelsea, so. Eight years ago. Yeah. <laughs> Holy smoke, did you see that? That fella looked like a kitty cat when he gets spooked by a cucumber. Who the heck? A cucumber? What's he like? He's great. You know, football. Yeah, I know fellas like that. <laughs> so these fellas are from all over the place? I'm open for you. Well, I mean, he must be from England, yeah? Wales. Is that another country? Yes and no. How many countries are in this country? <laughs> Four. Four. I like America these days. <laughs> I do love a locker room. It smells like potential. And am I getting notes of Axe body spray? <laughs> but I think they call it something else here. What do they call it? If not Axe body spray. Ding, ding, ding. Ah. Uh, links. Thank you, show, for answering my question. Last time I saw eyes that cold, they were going head to head with Roy Shot. <laughs> oh, all that jazz. I'm gonna say something. <laughs> uh, you know, we just wanted to pop in, say howdy. Howdy. We are to be here. Knock, knock. Is everyone in here decent? And she is. Am I interrupting you? No, no, that's okay. Oh, no, I'm here to pick up that one. Yeah. I mean, I can stay if you want. No, that's okay. Yes. Ted, set boundaries now. Anywho, uh, thank you for your time. Oh, Ted. Oh, Ted, I hope you have a secret weapon up your sleeve besides just being, oh, gosh darn likable. Now I see things in a different light. Don't don't know why. So the few pieces of baggage we saw that he had was was to decorate his office and not his home. Interesting. It doesn't surprise me though, you've had a heck of a career. Thank you. Never thought it would end being coached by Ronald fucking McDonald. Hmm. Ted. I, I don't think he was referring to me. Ted, you need some some tricks up your sleeve. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing in there? Oh. I'm Keely, by the way. Oh, yeah. Hey, I'm Ted Lasso. No, I know. You're trending hard on Twitter right now. How about that? Do you even tweet? Nah. 
but I do beatbox all right. <laughs> know how to react when a grown man beatboxes in front of me. I hope you never run into Bismarck. Either. Is he still alive? Or did he pass away? <laughs> I'm just going to put it on top of the car. Nice manner. I'm not sure I can do this. Obviously, for this to work, I'm going to need the full support of my new director of football operations. Oh, he's no longer the director of communications. Hey, look, this car's got an invisible steering wheel. Well, I accept. I know that there'll be elements to this little adventure that will weigh on you a bit, but uh, I'm sure it won't be harder than it was to sneak all Rupert's women in and out behind my back all those years. Ooh, slight revenge here. I'm sensing. Oh, this looks so charming. This is you, Coach. Oh, I almost forgot. <laughs> hey, big guy. How you doing? How's school today? No, 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 that's okay. No, I just want to hear your voice. Yeah, yeah, go do your thing. Hey, hey, is your mom there? Hey, how you doing? Oh, wait, it's gonna take some getting used to, yeah. But, but I think once we get going, it's gonna go all right. Yeah, you and the little guy gotta get on over here. Come check it out. But, I, but I, that's what I'm doing, though. I'm giving you that space. Oh, no. He's in another country. That's a lot of space. I love you. No, 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 that's okay. You don't have to. Good night. Can you see my brain working? And he's on a, the twin bed. Shoot. Now I can't sleep. For 30 minutes, they packed in a lot, but not really. So many story questions that I have popping up, one of which they answered to a point. They did a really good do job of laying down the tracks. It's questions that I have going forward. Don't tell me the answers though, but this is what I'm thinking. I was wondering why, was it, what's her last name, Melton? Hannah, Hannah Wyden. Why, if her ex-husband loved the football club so much, why did she get it and why didn't he fight for it? I missed what it is he got in return, I think. What did, because the headline note only said like bimbos. Okay, so why did she get the football club? But she did hire Ted to sink the football club for her own vengeance against her ex. Okay, my other question was, what would give Ted the motivation to leave the sport he knew in a place he was familiar with and successful in that venture to go to a different country and a sport he hasn't taken a second to look up the basics and leave family behind. So we see at the end, there's trouble in his marriage. What that trouble is, we don't know, but we're gonna guess that is a little bit of what is pushing him to take the sleep. Yeah, so I'm looking forward to getting those answers, which is what is their motivation? Because I love, besides good dialogue, which we're getting, I love good motivation. Speaking of dialogue, dialogue did a lot to establish characters right from that opening scene with Higgins and, and Hannah. I'm going to remember her name later. And, and then the coach that came in, just a few lines and we know who they were, what they're about, how they communicate. Mm -mm. I'm glad they have a coach beard for Ted because I think if he was wading through this by himself, I would be anxious. I would be so upset for him. But I'm glad he has at least one ally on his side with him. Yay. But we got a great beginning. Just the right amount of story questions asked that makes us go, I want to know more. Great characters so far. Get a really good sense of who they are right from the start. So we'll just have more great things to come, right? Right? Yes. Okay. Good. So there we go. The pilot episode of Ted Lasso. Thank you so much for being with me. And this is my reminder that if you haven't in a while, stand up. 
touch your toes, go get something to eat. Did you eat today? Protein, did you have your protein today? And then come back, you're gonna get some, come back and you're gonna watch the next video in the queue because you're also going to hit subscribe so you know when the next video drops. That's how it works, it's magical. So thank you so much for being with me and until next time y'all, 